You want to get a server in Minecraft 1.21.8 so you can play Minecraft with your friends. We're going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. And first things first, go to the second link down below or Google Minecraft server download. If you go to the link in the description, you'll be able to scroll down and click download Minecraft to go to this official download page. And if you found it via Google, this is what you're looking for. On this page, click on Minecraft underscore server 1.21.8 and this will pop up where we need to keep or save the file. This is Minecraft's official website. Website. So we're going to go ahead and save this server.jar. Now while that's downloading, I do want to mention that the server we're making here is not a 24-hour server. It's only up and running when your computer's up and running. It's also only meant for your friends and family, people you trust, because anyone who gets the IP address of this server can figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. But what if you don't have to worry about any of that? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz slash simple. At Simple Game Hosting, you can get your server up and running in minutes without having to worry about port forwarding, who joins the server. You can make the server public or private. It's up to you. And you don't have to worry about it being up 24-7 because at Simple Game Hosting, the servers are designed to be that way. There's even incredible hardware, meaning you can run mods on your server and one-click install mod packs. So don't struggle to host a Minecraft server. Start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple. Now, with our server jar downloaded, what we want to do is go ahead and minimize our browser and create a new folder. So right-click new folder on our desktop. You can name this anything, but I'm just going to name it Minecraft 1.21.8 server because, well, that's what this is. Then you want to find that server.jar file you downloaded that's going to be in your downloads folder where we can drag and drop the server.jar into the folder we created on our desktop so we can see it here. Now, if yours doesn't say .jar at the end, that's okay. As long as it's the executable jar file type, we're good to go. We can now double click on this. And in most cases, this will work, but in some cases, it won't. You won't generate these files and folders. And if that's the case, it's because you need Java, which is, of course, linked down below with an in-depth guide. But basically, you just click here and then download the program you want for Windows, which is going to be this Windows installer. And then it's like installing any other program. You may also need to run the jar fix, which is linked down below as well. Now we can go ahead though, and when you double click on that after getting Java, these files and folders will appear. We want to open up the eula.txt file with notepad. Then change eula equals false here to eula equals true, T-R-U-E, exactly like that, and then click file, save. It will now save, and we can go ahead and close out of this and double click on the server.jar. Your server will now start. While it's starting though, I do want to mention you can open your server.properties here and actually change a lot of different stuff about your server. For example, you can do things like change the difficulty, enable or disable command blocks, enable whitelisting, which is how you can make your server private, and you can even do things like change your game mode right here in this setting. Just make sure if you were to change one of these settings, like if you were to change this to creative, for example, you save the file and then you're going to need to stop the server and start it again. Just come over here and type stop, hit enter, that will close out of the server and then start it again by double clicking that server.jar. Now at this point your server is live and you can join the server. Your friends can't but I would recommend you joining at this point to make sure things are working. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft and I will see you once we can join this server in game. So now in Minecraft, if we navigate to the multiplayer menu, we can actually add a server. I'm gonna name this local connection because you're the only person who can connect to this using your own PC. No one else can use this IP to join. For the server address, we're gonna type in localhost, all one word, exactly like that, and click done. It will then resolve and we can double click to see ourselves join in here on the left hand side. We have now joined the server. We are good to go. We can run around, make sure there's no lag and things like that. If you're lagging with just you online, you're probably going to have some lag going on with your friends online as well. However, how do you get your friends on this server? Well, in order for your friends to join, you will need to port forward. And luckily, there's an in-depth guide on port forwarding linked in the description down below that covers everything you need to know to port forward for a Minecraft server. It takes you start to finish, allowing your friends to join and even troubleshoot some of the issues you may have along the way. So go check that out and allow your friends to join this server. But the basics of your server is set up. It's now online. You are good to go. You can change your server.properties, customize it. That way, when your friends do join, it is perfect. If this video did help you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one and I am out. Peace.